Hi, so we have one tricky problem in the series of geometrical progression. Let's first read the statement. Statement says, show that the product of any odd number of consecutive terms of a GP will be equal to the nth power of the middle term. So how do we usually write any GP or geometrical progression? Any geometrical progression is actually written as A, A R, A R square, A R cube, a r to the power 4 and so on right where a is the first term and r is the common factor right r is the common factor and how do we find the nth term t n or the last term is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 right these are the basics of any geometrical progression and what we have to find we have to find product of this pattern till nth term and nth term will be written as a r to the power n minus 1 right and what do we have to find we actually have to find the multiplication or the product of this pattern where n is an odd number and we have to show that this product will be equal to the nth power of the middle term, right? So which will be the middle term? Suppose if I write numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 is an odd number, right? And the middle number in this case is 3. And if I write 1, 2 and 3, in this case middle number is 2. And how do we find the middle number or the middle term? Middle term will actually be equal to the last term, which is n plus 1 by 2. In this case, the middle number is the third number, right? And total we had 5 numbers. So 5 plus 1 is 6 by 2 is 3, right? And in this case, total we had only 3 numbers and the middle number is 2, which is nothing but 3 plus 1, 4 by 2, right? So if we have total n terms the middle term will be n plus 1 by 2 right yes if n is an odd number the middle number will be n plus 1 by 2 and if we have n number of terms the position of the middle term will be n plus 1 by 2 right and what will be its value see here we have the formula to find the nth term tn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 so the value of t n plus 1 by 2 will be a multiplied by r to the power n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 right because n plus 1 by 2 is the middle term and its value will be a multiplied by r to the power if I take LCM over here it will be 2 and here we will have n plus 1 minus 2 so this will be equal to a r to the power n minus 1 by 2, right? So this will be the middle term. Let me write it neatly over here. It is very important because we have to prove that the product of all the terms of the progression will be the nth power of the middle term. And the middle term we have got is a r to the power n minus 1 by 2. Let me enclose this also and what is the next thing next we have to find the product of this pattern if we find the product of this pattern we have to multiply all these terms right so in place of commas I am going to put a dot and we have to multiply a to a r to a r square multiplied by a r cube multiplied by a r to the power 4 and this will continue till a r to the power n minus 1 right so what will we have here we have total n terms so we will have total n number of a's multiplied to themselves so we will get a to the power n and then we have r to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus this will continue till n minus 1 and if you remember we have derived a formula to find the sum of first n natural numbers and the sum of first n natural numbers was n into n plus 1 by 2 and how many natural numbers do we have over here we have total n minus 1 natural numbers so this can be written as a to the power n multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 
multiplied by n minus 1 plus 1 because total we have n minus 1 numbers by 2. Right? This will be a to the power n multiplied by r to the power. Here we will get minus 1 plus 1 will cancel themselves and we will have n minus 1 by 2 multiplied by n. Right? We can write it like this. Yes? And this in turn can be written as a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 by 2 whole to the power n. Right? Why? Because we have x to the power m multiplied by n can be written as x to the power m whole to the power n. And we also have a b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n multiplied by b to the power n. Right? So, let us simplify this once again. We have these two formulas. So, we can write it as a to the power n multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 by 2 whole to the power n, right, by using this formula. And this in turn can be written as a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 by 2 whole to the power n, right. This time we are using this formula. So, we have used these two formulas. And what is this? This term inside the bracket is nothing but the middle term of the geometrical progression, right? So, this is what we were supposed to prove and this is how we proved it.